is Handbook to the Stars by Peter Puklis, um, one of the most interesting books I've seen in quite some time. And the best thing is it's self-published, I think. Um, you can see the cover is embossed. So when you open this, so the end pages here um, contain the essay, which is uh, interesting. And you already see that something is happening here, so this text is just cut off and continues here. This gives you, a, I guess, an idea of, of, of what might happen. And then it goes right in there, um, you know, into the book. There's no page numbers, no title, nothing. Um, you see this image is cut off there at the bottom. Why you don't really understand at first, and then you keep looking, oops, um, and you'll find out eventually. Now this is kind of obvious, of course. You, you notice that this image here is part of this. What you see here. So essentially, what what this book does is that it takes a group of images that you can imagine are on some wall all arranged in, uh, in a very careful manner and brings it to book form and it does that by see that uh, by simply translating it um, you know the way it is onto the pages in a smart way you know this image is full bleed and then images are just cut off and you see fragments of images and you see um, you know you always see the full set, the full image you get to see eventually, but you might get fragments in relation to other images, which I think is um, is quite wonderful. Now I could imagine that um, this is not going to please those who prefer sort of a more orthodox setup of a photo book, um, but you know you can't please everybody, I suppose. I personally really think this is um, quite a successful book, especially since it's not, when you look at this, it's not very obvious what you're actually looking at. I mean, you're looking at photographs, but you don't really understand what this all means until you spend more time with it. You know, this photo book video obviously is not the right amount of time. But in general, these videos are not supposed to show you the books, you know, the way you would look at them or read them. They're just g intended to give you an impression. So if you think that, um, you know, presenting photo books online uh, encourages the mindless consumption of uh, photo books, then I think you're, um, you know, maybe uh, a little off there, you know. Maybe you need to readjust your your expectations and your thinking and uh, I personally object to the amount of self-righteousness that goes into those kinds of statements. Regardless, back to Peter's book. You can uh, order this book on his website. Uh, I just posted a, a profile on my blog about this, this work. Uh, there's a link to the website. I'll make sure to include the link at the end of this video. And you see, in terms of the photography, this book mixes all kinds of photographs. It does it very smartly. Um, you know, they're staged in some sense, they're still lifes. Uh, as much as I dislike the word a little meta, you also realize that, maybe you realize, or if you're visually smart, then you realize that some of the images are uh, inverted. Um, some elements appear again, if you look at this here. This is something you saw a little earlier, right at the beginning somewhere. Of course, now that I want to show you where it was, I can't find it. And this is just spectacular. See, this is very well prepared on my part. There we go, right? See this? It's right here. Of course, it's not the same image. So there are all, all kinds of things going on in this book. Uh, this is inverted. Uh, very nice production. You know, the print quality and the paper just feels right. The way it's produced is just uh, overall a, a great package. Um, 
definitely one of the books that's going to be on my best off list at the end of the year even though it, it shudders me to think of a best off list already um, anyway so here's uh, Peter's website peterpuglis.com if you go there uh, you can find the link I'm just going to post this on this video um, okay and that's it so this is Handbook to the Stars by Peter Puglis